three, two, one. Entrance, entrance, entrance. What's good people? My name's Ethan and I'm a 23 year old property developer based in South London. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down to you guys how I made 50,000 pounds from my last project. So that was the one to two bedroom flip. So if you go into my link in the description, then that will take you to the last video, which you'll be able to see the final review of that project and breaking down to you the guys the numbers. As I break down to you guys the numbers before, today I'm gonna break down the strategy, what I looked for, process, and the challenges that I had to overcome to you know acquire this deal and yeah, basically make the money. I'm gonna like make this really concise because you know I like to talk a lot and I just carry on, but I wanna make this concise and value pack. I'm going to outline to you guys from the get-go what I actually looked for when looking for this deal. My current focus strategy at the moment is converting one beds into two bedroom flats via a strategy called reconfiguration. So that's essentially when I relocate like a bathroom or a kitchen to create an extra bedroom in the property that will in turn increase the value in the prices. I picked this strategy because I feel like in London especially it's a lower barrier to entry because as I'm only dealing with one bedroom flats it's a lot cheaper than you know the, the three bedroom, the four bedroom HMOs that I want to eventually be converting into. This allows me to get in deals in and out because the refurbs tend to take around like 12 weeks maximum. It's an in and out, allows me to build a cash pot for my business, which I'll then take on to, you know, investing in bigger projects such as HMOs where I can hold on to the asset and, you know, retain the cash flow. I'm going to go straight into what I look for in this property. So the first thing that I, I like to look for one bedroom flats and I specifically look for one bedroom Victorian conversion flats. And I like to look for this mainly thinking about my end user where Victorian flats are actually preferred, especially in this part of South London. They love the character characteristic features, the high ceilings. Room size is actually much bigger. And this is actually really important to me because I don't want to create a product where I'm cramping in rooms and it feels really small so I could be creating an extra bedroom but if it feels really small and it feels really cramped then you know it's not desirable for the end user again. I like to reconfigure it in a way where the second bedroom is at least eight meters squared so that I can either put a small double bed in that bedroom or a double bed in that bedroom so that I essentially I'm creating two double bedrooms which again forces the value of up so those are my three key things what we're going to do is actually go through the deal that i last completed on and show you why i actually picked this property and the things that stood out to me to allow me to do this deal okay so here's the listing of the project that i just completed this was the very first listen that i saw when i was going through my right move search so let's go through the pictures first so if we click on the pictures here as you can see the first thing that drew my attention was the fact that it was a victorian conversion flat which i said is really important to me then I could see it benefited from a garden which was even better because as I said in the previous video the number one thing that we kept getting from our people that will come to view the property was we love the fact that it's got garden space which was a big big selling point then I was looking at the reception room and I thought okay cool the reception room is really big so that's the first angle of the reception room so then I knew there was potential to relocate the kitchen here somewhere. This is the first bedroom, as you can see, it needs a lot of work. And then seeing this kitchen, I thought, wow, this kitchen is huge. Instantly, I was like, yep, this is going to be our second bedroom. And as you can see, there's just so much more potential here. You've got the high ceilings here as well. There wasn't any current access into the front garden, into the back garden. So looking at this window here, I also thought to myself, potential to create private access into the back garden. Then you've got the bathroom here again, very outdated and potential for a refurb, full refurb. Looking at the reception room from this angle, instantly thought, yes, it definitely can be done to put the, make it an open plan kitchen. So to confirm my thoughts, I thought, let me take a look at the floor plan. Then as we take a look at the floor plan here, we can see that, okay, cool. The lounge is massive. Yep, this can work. We can have our kitchen literally going along this back wall here plenty of space in the kitchen to create the second bedroom which would actually be classed as a double bedroom and then we have our bedroom this is our original bedroom then we've got our bathroom here again a potential here is being able to train the eye to spot opportunities i saw that there was a cupboard here that could potentially be turned into a shower shower cubicle which we did i'll show you the pictures later as well okay cool so as you can see with this property is already ticked three of my boxes which is one bed victorian conversion and it's over 50 square meters 
Now, nah, let's take a look at the description to see what other things highlighted the opportunity within this project. Now, for me, it was looking at and seeing that it was only 0.2 miles away from the closest station, which meant thinking about my end users that if they're working in the city, they require a short commute distance to and from home. So only be 0.2 miles away from the closest station is perfect. That's like a 10 minute, it was even less, it's even less than a 10 minute walk. It was literally five minutes from Selha station. And then the next factor, which was actually the biggest factor and gave me the most confidence of going through this deal is the fact that it only had 61 years left on the lease. So it only having 61 years left on the lease meant that it's no longer mortgageable for a residential buyer on a normal product, which means that it can only be purchased via cash, which, what, which is what we did via a bridging loan. So purchasing this property would actually mean that we're increasing the value of this property in three different ways. So the first way would be through the development and refurbishment of the property. The second way would be through the reconfiguration, which would be adding the extra bedroom. And now the third one way would be increasing the lease and increasing the lease and having that lease extension completed. So that is three ways, which is what we was able to do to drive up the value of this property, which is what allowed us to be able to achieve such a good amount of profit within a short space of time. So let's say, let's call it this triple threat. So we did a triple threat, which is essentially why I, I, I now say that this deal was a bit of a unicorn because being able to get those three things is very hard when, when you have such a like specific set of requirements for deals like these. But focusing on this like set of requirements has allowed me to be able to, you know, build better relationships with agents because now agents know exactly what I want. So it kind of stops them from just bombarding me with loads of different things. They know these are the specific features that I look for within the property. And when the opportunity does arise, I can go straight in for it because I know that the end results is well worth like the effort that we're putting in. So I'd say, yeah, that is to summarize, is the triple threat, which allowed us to achieve the 50,000 pounds profit margin within the last project. And so that is the development, reconfiguration and lease extension. So yeah, just comment, like, share, let me know of any specifics that you'd like to know about this specific strategy or any other strategy and I'll go into depth, I'll make more videos. If you like these sit down videos, just let me know because I wasn't too sure about making a sit down video, but I've quite enjoyed explaining it to you guys. So hopefully you get a lot of value from this video. So remember to follow me on Instagram at Ethan X Hammond, watch out for Tuesday tips when I'm giving out all the gems and daily updates, some challenges that I'm currently facing in the business and how we're overcoming all of it. So yeah, just like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and I need an exit, an exit something. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next project coming very, very soon once these solicitors have yeah done their thing. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Gather all your friends, it's a party thing to life We can just keep right, we get all